What's going on, everybody? James here, redoptionagency.com. With hair flying out my ears. Oh, yeah, my glasses on and I saw that. <laughs> 21 years selling on eBay. How's everybody doing out there? In the resale land, the resale land, the resale land. All right. I'll get into this. Got everything pulled already. So, uh, not bad the last few days for me. It's been pretty steady. It seemed like something's changed uh, in a good way. Um, getting a my my diverse sales are back. Um, as I've said before, it seems like sometimes things are indexing or what have you, and like you know, I'll sell basically ninety percent media, and then like none of my clothes are being seen. Weird things like that. But the last three days. Across the board, it's been very consistent on uh, a mix of different items, as you'll see in this video. Um, the other day was bad. When that happened, it was, what, Friday, Thursday. And then, thir like, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, there was something going on, and I have had called in a few different situations, server failures, and what have you. And then, uh, I think it was Thursday, I went on the eBay technical board and I just left this long message, or this long post, basically saying, I'm frustrated, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it, basically asking, when is all this crap going to get fixed? And I laid out everything that's been going on for the past year. Uh, the fact that I could go 12 hours into a day and only sell one item or one organic item when I have 42,000 items up just on eBay US. You know, I went into all the details and just spilled it all out. And I'm just with the server errors and the, the sorry, it's not you, it's us and things like that. And how that's almost a daily occurrence for the last year. And so I left it that day, sometime in the midday or early. And then the next day, boom. I don't know if somebody saw it and opened up a ticket or reported it or something. But ever since I posted that, everything has been steady. It's been beautiful. It's been... I haven't had to worry about anything. And and while listing and all that other stuff, I've only had one uh, server failure issue in the three days. So that was good, too. So... Yeah, very happy with the last three days. And it looks like it's continuing into today. We're at 10 a.m. And I'm at 185 where I like to be. And I still got stuff. There's some I just paid there. Uh, just consistently rolling in. And that's the way it should be. I Because it was getting old and frustrating, right? And I don't know what happened or what changed, but something definitely changed for the better for my account so um like i said the before the the one who the, the the greasy or the squeaky wheel gets the grease right and before i complain about things you know i have to be pushed to a limit and this past year has been limit 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 i've been over that limit for a year now and so I was just like, well, what haven't I done yet? I haven't went on this board and just laid it all out there and see how many people read it and see where it goes. And apparently, I don't know, ever since then, I don't know if that's a coincidence or if something came from that. Uh, it's been rolling ever since. So very happy. A lot less... Uh, issues off of my brain you know the kids are down here today you can't see see him you might be able to see his paw so uh gave him his meds so overnight early morning he's a little bit stiffer than uh during the day so i got him his meds and got him down here so he's resting uh, so hopefully I can get another uh, outside video done today. I gotta remember. I always forget to take my phone outside with me. So I remember to do that. So. 
All right, let's get into this and see what we sold and show you the dyed first stuff that actually is what my store is supposed to look like when sales, when the eBay site is working. So, and yeah, and money-wise, it's been good too. Like yesterday I got over eight. The day before that was something weird. Little That's that day I had the server issue. One time I only did seven, a little over seven that day. But the Friday before that I did over a thousand, so... And that day also, too, my sale was ending. So I restructured my sales. It ends today. So I think I'm going to do either a Sunday, Monday end, and a Friday end. Sunday, Monday end, Friday end. And just extend it out every other day. Because if it's working right, you get that, that boost on that last day when the sale is ending. So when everything seems to be flowing perfectly, you do get that boost. So if I can get that boost twice a week... That'll work for me. So, so yes, very uh, happy about that. So first up, we've got a little Mickey and Minnie Valentine's Day plush. Hallmark Cupid Disney characters. Love struck and Cupid. So, so cute. They're so in love. And both of these together sold for $31, headed to Berlin, New Jersey. Yes, I just made a, a, a conscious choice to put Minnie and Minnie, Mickey and Minnie, in my package in the 69 position. So they can at least enjoy their, enjoy their trip. That's how this twisted little crazy life. They gotta enjoy themselves along the ride. Come on. <laughs> oh. The little things in life it's the little things even goofy little things makes it enjoyable and fun All the stuff that's supposed to ship first. I pulled first, so it's on the bottom here. So, all right, we got new, new, new world order. Just too sweet bumper sticker. Back when I used to go around and hit all the clearance stuff. When uh, I worked retail, I couldn't afford really anything, so I would just always for something to do, I'd go around and hit clearance store or hit, hit the clearance idols and items in various stores, Toys R Us, Walmarts and stuff. So I bought this at Walmart for 50 cents. I don't really have a date on the ticket or on the price tag, but. So, so that was probably about 1999. All right, where do I wanna put this in so it don't get too damaged? We had some flat. My mind's not 100% working yet today. 45 mailer might be too small. I don't feel like cutting up cardboard, even though it's probably quicker if I just did that instead. Especially being I got a couple pieces right here. James, you're not thinking right. 
You are not drinking right at all. I'm gonna use this big old mailer. Oh well. You got this one out for the book. What are you doing? I haven't even selling my books now. My books never sell. I'm actually selling books. And I think I kind of getting the feel that it seems like the thing that's hid the, the most, not just the books, but the newest thing that's hidden the most when things aren't working right is pants. It seems like when nothing's working right, my jeans don't sell. So. All right. I even got eyeball stuff. I had to ship the Mickey, and now I got this little toy here. So I need to find a box for that. Not bad. I'm being too hard on myself today. All right, next up, we've got the Playmobil Ambulance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, what was that? I didn't even tell you what that sticker sold for, did I? I'm sorry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I already. Maybe I ain't with it yet today. What is today's date? Anyway. anyway, we got these little figures, three little figures. We got the patient with his brain damage. And we got the driver. All right. Come on. I screwed up. What did it sell for? All right. Let me get a box for this guy. Bagger and tagger. And the little guys will stay in there. This thing is just not going to cooperate today. Is it? Don't start messing up now. You've been doing so good. So good. So good. Yeah, this is eBay's not working quick or efficient today. Let's see, we got another offer coming through. What's with everybody wanting the $5 hats? What's funny is when I get so many offers for hats on, for $5, and all I ask is $5.99 is my lowest, you would, you'd be surprised the amount of people who will decline 99 cent more. When I got it listed for ten fifty, with the sale, it's like really, you don't really want it if you're not willing to pay ninety nine cent more. <laughs> All this just to tell you what a sticker cost or sold for, dude. I have been selling there. I just passed up three jeans there, and then I got another one here at least. Where did the sticker go? It's not even here now. Oh, jeez. Sticker. Sold for ten fifty. Finally. Finally. The James has come back with the prize. Room we got, and what we want to stuff in here. Maybe a little bedding. Maybe a little 
carbon. And give you some bubble. Arizona, we might end up going ground instead. Thirteen eighty six. Oops. Where did I charge? Nope. You are within the range. Next up, somewhere down here, I've got Crimson Sky for the Xbox. Crimson Sky Eats video game. There, I did it again. I didn't tell you what the damn toy sold for. Come on now. <laughs> Told you it was going to Arizona. Sold for $10.50. Wake up, James. All right, this sold for 440, headed to Tacoma Park, Maryland. Wake up. My sinuses are just, I've been fine. I've been feeling good. But then a couple days ago, I started smelling the, like infection again. I'm like, great, here we go again. And then the yesterday, the smell kind of was dissipated. Then I noticed my body was just so tired. So I ended up crawling into bed about eight last night. So I guess my body was fighting it or something. I don't know, something's going on, so. Still not feeling 100%. Like, and all night, freaking the head pressure didn't shift like it normally does. Normally, if, a, if it's on the side I lay, I go to the other side and it'll move. It didn't move at all last night. And my ears are, like, ringing so loud. They've been ringing for like 10 years now, but overnight it's been the loudest in a long time. Next piece. So in storage, I've been, I always buy these at the bins when I find them. And I think my sister used to collect them and she gave me like a couple of huge boxes of these and they were in storage somewhere. And I'm sure I've got tons of these in storage, but I was, when I was over at the bins the last time, it's been a minute, but I found a collection that somebody dumped off. So I've been, I grabbed them. And they've been selling. I sold a couple of Bath and Body Works bigger ducks for like twelve fifty a piece, and then some of the little ones have been selling. So this is like a a dog duck. Sold for three fifty. Headed to Houston, Texas. There's some noise upstairs, but the dogs are down here and nobody else is here. That's some, uh, it could be the front porch, something getting delivered. My bike's supposed to get here today. So my new bike. Gotta keep an eye out for that. All right, Alabama hoodie. That sold for $16, headed to Canton, Michigan. $16.
So I finally got the puppies on some berries, some dark berries. Blackberries are good. That was the first time I've eaten blackberries, so I like those. And Vern likes some Courtney, not so much. Blueberries, they're okay. I mean, nothing special. I can eat them, but Vern likes them and Courtney likes them. So I've been putting those in with their food. Supposedly helps fight the cancer. Not looking for a miracle. Not expecting a miracle. Just anything is better than ho no hope at all, right? So just doing what I can. And now I've, I got to get some uh, dewormer because everybody's saying that. And from what I'm reading, so I just got to figure out what kind to get because there's like horse dewormer, dog dewormer. And then how much do I give them? So I can't, I haven't figured that part out yet. So I'm just. I'm dragging my feet when I shouldn't be, but I'm just trying to figure that out. I sold the other one of these the other day. Am I hearing things? I'm going to go check upstairs real quick. hear nothing or nothing's changed all right uh so it's the disney performing arts ears hat so for 950 headed to sherwood arkansas dude i swear i keep hearing like thumps that I don't recognize. My mind might be playing tricks on me. I don't know what's going on. The suspense. Will he be killed on camera? Da -da -da -da. Oh, but then it'd never get uploaded. So you wouldn't know if I did it anyway. <laughs> you want to hear a funny story? I got a funny story. So the other night, took the dogs out front, there was a smell in the air, and I just associated with a neighbor who works on his cars in his garage, and he does everything, he builds the cars from nothing to paint, he does it all. So I figured he's just got a vent on or something out of his garage, no big deal, didn't think nothing of it. About a half hour later, I get a knock on the door. I'm in bed. It's like a little after 10. Hold on, we're coming, blah, blah, blah. Get to the door, and it's an officer. Yeah, we got a call about a meth lab smell. And he's kind of trying to look in the house. He's like, have you smelled anything weird? I'm like, well, yeah. I walked outside, and I'm like, don't really smell it now, but it's just, I think my neighbor working on his cars is not a meth lab. And so he was kind of just, I don't know, eyeing me up, working it, talking, you know how they do, assessing the situation. And uh, so he went over to the neighbors, knocked on the door, woke them up, got them up. Yeah, we got caught. So he said, yeah, I had my vent on because he was working in his garage. 
And as we're over there talking to the neighbor, out of the corner of my eye, we've got three new neighbors in three houses in a row. One I've talked to, the other one I've never seen. The other ones are always just kind of standing on the porch here and there and just kind of watching things, right? So it's pitch black over there and I've just barely caught some movement. So I'm like, they're on the porch just watching all this. And I go, it's probably them over there <laughs> pointing at it. Uh, go on, it's them. It's probably them. So they know that I know that they're crazy or something. What? So they called in a meth lab smell. And my thought was, how do you know what a meth lab smells like? All right, James, you're going. You're talking. All right, Bill Gaither, a uh, songbook. So for five bucks, headed to Loma Linda, California. So yeah, I thought that was quite funny. So uh, when I took the dogs out the other day, they were standing out there on the porch too. So I'm just like started like, la, 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 just acting. Uh, and if they're going to think I'm a, um, got a meth lab in the house, I might as well start acting like it, right? So, I mean, how dare you? I've been here 21 years. You've been in that, you've been in that house five minutes and you're already starting stuff. Come on now. I was like, I guess if you see a long-haired white boy who never leaves to go to work, you just assume he's a meth addict? Is that what it is? Have the tables turned? Is, are the, is the black family profiling the white long-haired boy? <laughs> oh, how the how, how times have changed. <laughs> no, but I'm having fun with it. I'm going to have fun with it. All right. See Rome and eat. Beverly Pepper book. So for $25, headed to Princeton, New Jersey. And I'll use the one for this. I don't think it's going to fit in this one. Don't think so. So I need to get a new one. Yeah, I've been profiled my whole life because of my hair. Not from just black people. Actually, mostly white people. <laughs> Honestly. White people are very judgmental. But now it's uh, definitely crossed over into a lot more of... Uh, everybody can be judgmental nowadays. But all my life, you're a druggie. You just think I do drugs. You think I drink... You know, just because I got long hair. Uh, and then we won't even get into how many jobs I didn't get hired for and how many jobs I lost because I wouldn't cut my hair. Discrimination. I've been dealing with it my whole life. That's why it don't bother me. I just have fun with it. All right, AW84 dry fit panel Nike hat. Headed to Brazil, $19. I got Brazil blocked. How did that go through? Because this will not show up. And if it does, it'll be two months late. And I've already refunded them a month prior to it showing up. Is it going to fit on the thing or is it going to error me out? Five 
two, nineteen, five, two. That went up a dollar. I guess postage went up today. International, that one just went up a buck, so I gotta pay attention. Cause I might have to raise my international rates today. Damn it. These shipping companies, man, they're just gonna put people out of business, including themselves, they keep this up can't do this every year consistently and not expect consequences from it. Now why aren't you clicking? Unless you refreshed while I wasn't looking. Alright, next up we've got a lot of 35 DVDs. So for 15 bucks. Headed to Michigan. Algon, Michigan, something of that nature. 10, 7, 8. All right, ma'am. some stickers over that over those Walgreens all right pull these out of storage I probably got about 50 of them I used to work in a music store. Any promotional stuff, when the promotion was over, we'd supposed to throw it away, but I always brought it all home. So I brought about 50 of these home. Urge, too much stereo. In stores July 18th, back in 2000. Uh, so I posted it on uh, Facebook because I'm friends with a lot of the Urge guys and other band members in St. Louis and fans and what have you. So I'm like, hurry up, get yours now. I only got 50. <laughs> And uh, with Jeff from my Facebook and YouTube here, he ended up buying one. And then I sold a second one too, overnight. So, so for nine bucks, headed to Lakeland, Florida. Started going through my uh, pin backs yesterday, put a bunch up. I think I put maybe 30 up last night. And probably got another. 300 plus to get up so i think i'm gonna work on those for a little bit today because they're quick nice and quick so i might just pound through as see how many i can get through today and see if i can get up to 44,000 listings or how close i can get to 44,000 listings today because i probably need about 450 items listed to hit 44,000 i can do pens the pens pretty quick because there's only two pictures but I don't know if I can do 450 in one day. I don't even know if I'm sure if I have that many. I might have near there. So I have to see. When I do stuff like that, I feel like I'm getting a lot done without a little effort. It feels good, so... Maybe if my brain's not working today, I need one of those days. <laughs> Next up, we got, are you ready for a cassette line? Yeah. So what I decided to do, all right, so I had my low items of 555, right? So I told myself I'm not going lower than the 555, but I was promoting it like 15%. So one sold, I did the math. Then I did the math on if I didn't promote it, but put like a 40% sale on it. And it's priced at 333. 
So at 3.33, without promoting, I was actually making 40 or 50 cents more per item. I'm like, well, I'm gonna try that for a few days because leaving them at 5.55, promoting them at 15%, 15 percent, they, I sold a few a day, three or four maybe. And I go, let me try this over the weekend and see if it works. So I cut off promoting anything under 555 and threw it up at 40% off, which is $33.33. Boom, 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 boom. Stuff started selling. And so I'm making like, the profit is like $2.20, $2.20 on a 333 item without promoting it. Oh, the good old days of eBay, right? when you can make good money without having to promote your stuff, right? So I figured if my prices are low enough there, I shouldn't have to promote it. That was the theory, and it seemed to work. Not only that, somebody came in and bought a bunch of them. So if it can ramp up my number of items and get me 220 per item and not give eBay more fees, it's a bonus all the way around. So let me see how many items I did sell yesterday. So that should have jumped up yesterday because I sold a good amount of 333 items. So we made it up to 61 items and that's been the most... <laughs> I'm just quickly scanning this. It's probably been the most this month. No, there's 67 on July, January 11th. So, yeah. So I think I'll keep it at that for now. See how, how it goes. See what becomes of it. But so far, so good. So we got uh, 10 cassette singles. All together sold for uh, $30. Because he used the 10% off, which brings it down to $3. So then I'm guessing I'm making about $1.80 per item. But $1.80 times 10. That's some good money. You know what I'm saying, G? What's up? So, and then they get a bonus because it's only costing them $3.99 to ship all these since I do one price shipping on media. And then, so I'll let you know how much I'm actually paying to ship these also. So, uh, mostly, no, I was going to say mostly R&B-ish, but not really. We got West Side Connection, Dino, After 7, After 7. We got two Spin Doctors, different songs, of course. Oh, three Spin Doctors, different songs. I'll be sure. Tony, Tony, Tony. And an oddball that does not fit with any of this. Great band, Every Mother's Nightmare. Love that band. Love those first two albums the most. Very hard rock and catchy feel. Anyway, all right, let's get this into the mail. Can I squeeze you all in here? One sock. Two socks. Three socks. Squeeze. I really wish there was a better way to promote that $3.99 unlimited shipping. I got the banner in my store, but most people don't click on your store. I wish there was a way to, like, when somebody's checking out with one media item to say, eh, add more media items, no additional shipping cost. Maybe there is and I don't know about it yet or I'd never pay attention. Oh, maybe I need to look into that. Or if you know of something, let me know. If you have any ideas how to promote it better, let me know. All right. So we got 12. So I charged $3.99 for unlimited. And this cost me $3.65. So that's why I went ahead and knocked off the 50 cents for each additional in hopes that it would, I wouldn't lose money on shipping. I'd lose money on the orders, but I was hoping to have more orders to make up for that. Not so much yet. Not so much yet. All right. We got this vintage St. Louis baseball boomer shirt not a cardinal shirt though that sold for 
Took an offer for six, which was probably low. I probably should have held out for more, but oh well. Headed to Austin, Texas. I got my supplies in. Friday or Saturday. And started redoing over there with the three size or the two size boxes, the three per shelf. So fits just perfect. So that made me happy. So I'm sure you'll see that in an upcoming video when I'm doing pooling points of view, if you will. Let me see where I'm at because not all this has to go out today. Get to the post office. What the heck? I'm in there, that's why. Alrighty. No, I shipped you. Why did you not take? Oh, you were taking it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I noticed too. When they got a bulk order now, it takes a while for all of them to update with the tracking number. Alright, so I got a few more here I have to get out. Oh, several more. I gotta get out. Back to work, James. You're talking too much. You talk too much. Next up, we got a Dale Earnhardt leather Budweiser NASCAR hat. So far, twelve fifty. Headed to Roland Heights, California. We had something that's never happened. Twenty-one years living here. A UPS package says delivered, but it's not anywhere to be found. Got the same driver I've always see, a nice older guy. So I doubt he would have done anything with it. So I'm kind of confused as to what happened. We live on a cul-de-sac. So I don't know. I've looked this house over just in case it got brought in. I'm searching and searching and I'm just not finding it. Is Jan ordered three Pandora charms that were on clearance. And I cannot, I can't figure it out. And it's bugging me. Because I don't want to believe somebody's coming over here stealing mail. Like if I would have ran to the post office at the time and some, I don't want to think, even though we got three new neighbors, I don't want to think that way. And the neighborhood's been declining for the last several years. The fact that we live on a cul-de-sac makes it kind of secure-ish. Nobody wants to come down here and get trapped because their ass is going to get killed. You know what I'm saying, G? What's up? Oh. But, um, no, but... So I don't want to think that way. So I've, I'm just like, man, it's got to be around here. It had to be drug in the house somehow, some way. It has to be randomly laying around here. I just can't accept anything else yet. And Jan's like, call Discover, do a claim. And I'm like, I'm waiting. I'm just kind of looking every day. I don't know. It's bugging me. That's why I'm kind of paranoid about my bike right now. I'm like, I have this somebody from the neighborhood and they see that bike sitting on the porch. That thing's gone. If we've, we're turning into that kind of a neighborhood, if we're turning that kind of neighborhood, I'm out of here. I'm done. That's why I left the city to get away from that kind of stuff. And if it's out here now, I want no part of it. And I am history. All right. Balua, the coast is never clear. CD. So for five bucks, headed to Portland, Oregon. Guess it's time to get some cameras. I never had to get cameras because I never had to worry about anything. So I have to find me a good set that's very easy to use, has nice backup, doesn't cost anything because I ain't freaking paying anything a month to monitor myself. <laughs> I'm not at that stage yet. So I got to figure out what would be a good set to buy. And I don't have to wire. Don't want to mess with wires. 
indoor outdoor weather night vision Dave Gardner all seriousness aside vinyl sold for three bucks headed to Kingston New York another 333 item Irish drinking cap with the bottle opener. Another offer. So for nine fifty, headed to Santa Cruz, California, and I need some boxes. I'm trying to decide if that was the UPS truck. I heard a. Heard a truck, but we got a trash truck picking up today, too, so it might be trash. Pop the trash man! Trash man! Trash man! That'd be one of my dream jobs. Trash man! Trash man! As long as I can see what's in the trash cans. Go back to my youth dumpster diving days. Why did it take you 12 hours to do your three-hour shift, James? I was looking in every trash can before I dumped it. Oh. <laughs> did I say 950? Yeah, 950 Santa Cruz, California. Maybe those stumps earlier, what I heard was a trash truck, maybe. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I'm not crazy. Maybe that was the trash man. Trash man, trash man. The second urge sticker. So for nine bucks, headed to Huntsville, Alabama. I had the CD in the store that's been in there probably two, two and a half years. Local band uh, Spoon Drift from like the mid 90s, late 90s. And I probably got, there's probably one of them that I was able to get like two or three or one or two box lots. Box lots are 30 CDs. When Warehouse Music took over from Blockbuster Music, they ended up going away, getting rid of local consignment stuff. And supposedly they paid all the artists out for the stuff on stock and they said, just throw it away. So I brought it home. So I've got tons of that in storage. And I think I got more of that CD in storage, but it's been sitting, in, one CD has been sitting in store for two, two and a half years. And one of the band members shared it on Facebook the other day and goes, nobody's going to pay $9 for this. And probably five minutes after he posted his thing, it sold by somebody on the, and everybody was going back and forth with it. A friend tagged me in the post saying, that's my friend who sold it. Or has it listed. So I put on there, thanks for helping me sell the CD and stuff like that. Now everybody else on this thread, go go buy something from my store. But uh, So that was kind of funny. The good parts of social media, when you can have fun like that. and It helps sales, right? Yeah. I haven't even really been saying too much lately. More... Uh, more just caught up in my world here than I am in the social world right now. Do -do -do. Carol King, City Streets CD. Headed to England. Sold for $9. So that makes two international. I see one more. It's only three international overnight. And my... I did notice over the weekend too, with these sales increase, my international on the international sites have picked up. So, yeah, 
that's a good thing. As long as it continues, it's a good thing, you know. It's a good thing while it lasted, if it don't last. But it's going to last. Eventually, they'll get everything working properly. Yay! <laughs> yep, International went up a buck. Man. They're going to make me raise my prices, yo. I try not to, but with International, I charge the exact minimum that it charges just to try to have more sales. So when they raise it a buck, I have to raise it a buck. Bummer. I have to see what it's costing. I guess a hat would be about the same. Was hats 50? No, it should be about the same for the hat. All right, am I done with what has to go yet? Nope, not yet. I've got three more that has to go. Two more has to go. Let me take this off. A Richard Petty hat. Richard Petty. Did he die or something real quick? Oh, I got the hat listed for 50 bucks. You're going to try 10 bucks? No. No, no, no. We don't do that here. No. You you must take your cheap self someplace else. You can try Dollar Tree. You can go Walmart. But you ain't going to get that kind of deal here. This ain't no clearance store, even though I sell clearance stuff at clearance prices. <laughs> Darter. Darter. Darter ornament. Daughter ornament. From 2005 American Greeting. And I guess you're supposed to be a chipmunk or something. I'm not sure, but anyway. So for 9.30, headed to Poconos Pines, Pennsylvania. Poconos Pines, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. My box is crooked. Rather be it delayed than not at all. Then I have to go and go through the stuff to reprint. Which is a pain in the booty hole. Pain in the booty hole. I always put these up. And I've got tons of them in my store. And I like it when they sell. Just a generic, unbranded Stars and Stripes hat. So for nine fifty, headed to Canton, Georgia. through what I don't have to ship and show you what sold. I think that was the last one that has to go out. That has to go out. Had no Bonanza or True Gather this weekend, though. Oh, wait, did I? Yes, I got a True Gather that has to go out. J.C. Hauling cap. So for nine fifty, headed to... Manchuca, Manchaca, Manchuca, Texas, something of that nature. Uh, 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 uh. And that is in you have to search ended to get the location because True Gather doesn't pull the location number over the SKU number. 
Oh, how that's doing that. I'll do that off camera. Uh, so we got the photos, self-titled cassette tape, sold for $13.60. We've got some shoes here. Mountain Creek, some casual men's shoes, sold for $14. We've got Jackie of Chera, Chera or something like that. I probably got lots more of these in storage from one of my buyouts. Maybe my Circuit City buyout way back when. It's over $5.50. Circuit City. I haven't heard that name in forever. All right, we got some uh, some North Africa. Tunsia, Tunsia, James, stop trying to pronounce stuff. Just admit, you don't know how to read and write and pronounce things. You don't know math. You don't know nothing. That's why you're selling on eBay. Because you're a loser. Anyway, <laughs> that sold for $14. Because you're a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Hooters hat sold for $9. Simon Shaheen, Music of Mohammed Abdel Wahab, some of that nature. Cassette sold for five bucks. We've got some American Eagle skinny jeans. I just took an offer for 13 on that because I don't think it was promoted. Kind of watch when people send offers and it'll tell you if it's being promoted or not, or you know, if it's the percentage, and if it doesn't, it means no promotion so if there's no promotion then i could take it a little bit less because like if it was 13 bucks plus the promoted i wouldn't have took it so 13 dollars there what's the one thing i always say oh wait i say a lot of things but ktel records high energy because that uh sold for 525 ktel records kevin daniels trying to look all cool and hip from the 80s, I'm guessing. Oh, he's from Arnold, Missouri. About 20 miles away. Kevin Daniels. Let's see if I recognize any names on the album. I do not. So. <laughs> Gotta love that. Alright, so for 8 bucks. And we've got a Mist Masterpiece Edition PC game. Sold for three eighty eight, another three, th another three thirty three item. I don't know how they paid three eighty eight for it. Maybe it's a five ninety nine price point, not five fifty five. And uh, two items I haven't pulled yet. That just looks like they've sold a Harley Davidson shirt for fifteen dollars, and an unknown Clover logo camouflage hat sold for ten fifty. Let me refresh, see if anything else, and that's it for that. So. There we are. And I got another offer. Hey, what's $20? Went from 10 to 20 on that $50 Richard Petty hat. Let me make sure Richard Petty hat didn't just pass away or something. Because he's getting there. Nope, not yet. How old is he? He's got to be 79 ish, maybe? 85. Still going strong, too. Well, I don't know if he's still going strong. Last time I saw him on TV, he was still going. Still going strong. Retired American race car driver who has a net worth of $65 million. I'd still be alive at 85, too, if I had $65 million. I'd be like, I got a million dollars. Can you get me one more year, Doc? <laughs> Um, I like this hat. It kind of sucks when you like something personally. But there's no emotions in reselling. See, I had it originally listed for $71, on sale, $50. And you're coming at $20. I think I'm going to hold out. I'll, I'll, I'll give you $35. If you want it, you can have it at $35. I 
activity for thirty five dollar. All right, so that was a long one. So we're at eleven o'clock at two hundred dollars at eleven o'clock. So hopefully sales will keep rolling in. So all right, thanks everybody for watching. I got to get the True Gatherer order, which is in clear tote fifty eight. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. And I shall see you. Oh, another item just sold. Uh, $15 for a uh, Virginia Cavaliers cap. And uh, I'll see if I'm making another puppy video today. And uh, I'll see everybody else in the next video later.